If you think depression is the problem, think again. Maybe you're not depressed. With everything that's happening in the world today with COVID-19 and the current pandemic, maybe, just maybe, it's in your gut. It's no secret that depression and suicide rates are at an all-time high. But what if it's not COVID-19? What if it's all in your gut? And it's easier to fix than what you think. This is part one of daily habits to prevent depression during stressful times like COVID-19 and our current global climate. These are tips that you can do at home without medication and starting right now. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, best-selling author, TV personality, researcher, and mom of five. Yes, five. <laughs> so I just want you to imagine that you can actually start feeling so much better starting today, right now, and lift yourself out of your own depression by following the tips that I have in this video. I have 12 tips to share. So this is part one. I'm going to cover six in this first video and then you'll check out part two of the daily habits to prevent depression in the next video. So tip number one is to get outside. Yes, by getting outside and getting your hands dirty. So get out into the earth and connect with the earth and pick up some new microbes that are out there in the environment. This is so important for a healthy microbiome and when we're talking about the health of the gut and that gut brain axis, it's important that we have a healthy microbiome because that's very much related to our brain chemicals, feeling good, our serotonin, our BDNF, and those are things that I share in a complete one hour episode and it's episode 23 here on YouTube so make sure that you check it out with the title you are not depressed it's your gut and it's important to note that you know by having that great diversity in our guts this is reliant on being exposed to different microbes in our environment. Tip number two as a daily habit to prevent depression is to get some sun. So especially that early morning sun is important. Make sure that that sun is hitting as much of your body as possible. Ideally from sunrise till about 10 a.m. in the morning. This is when you want to be exposing yourself as much as possible and especially if you can expose your belly this is important for our healthy microbiome as well because our microbiome is reliant on having healthy light as well and it actually gives off light so try to get into that morning sun as much as possible this is something that i did with my two younger kids today on the way to school we were at the stop sign i had them roll down the window in the back seat of the car and i said get your get your especially your pineal gland so your third eye your fourth Forehead. My kids, they know that I tell them to do crazy things all the time, but it's not crazy. It's good for your health. So they did that and they got that sun. And is that enough, mommy? Yes, it is. It's perfect. And that sets your entire circadian rhythm, your biorhythms for the day and sets you up for health. So that is something easy. It's free. It's something that you can do every single morning, but more importantly, helps with your brain chemicals so that you can maybe have less of your depression on a daily basis. Tip number three is to open your windows in your home and get some fresh air into your environment inside. This is important. It always makes you feel better. But again, you want to invite some of those healthy microbes that are in the environment into your home as well and hopefully flush out some of the bad ones that are in your home, especially if you've been isolated with the current pandemic and you've been in closed doors. Important to get that fresh air every single day. Tip number four is to eat a variety of different foods and what's best is to get more of those healthy microbes is when you go to the grocery store to actually be touching and smelling and interacting with the fresh produce. So with fruits and vegetables, make sure you're picking up those great healthy microbes by doing this and it really can go a long way to help to set up and especially if it is from your local temperate climate so shopping locally so for instance I live in Canada and I look for grown in Ontario produce and I make sure that I'm engaging I'm touching I, I don't again I don't care what people <laughs> 
think of me. Most people will take a look. Maybe you don't always smell the red peppers and things and the apples and things, but I do in the grocery store now because I know how important that is for my healthy microbiome and for my bodies to start to interact even energetically with those fruits and vegetables. This is a healthy thing that you can do for yourself. Tip number five is to practice grounding. So when you do go outside and get that morning sun, it's even better if you take off your socks and your shoes, connect directly with the earth so that you're bringing in those negative electrons into your body which has such a healing effect on your overall health but can really help to set the tone for the rest of your day in terms of your moods and those neurotransmitters that again are related in terms of your depression and maybe not depression but feeling good and that's exactly what we want to turn on first thing in the morning to set our tone for the rest of the day and tip number six is binaural beat so this is something that you can search up on YouTube it's something that you listen to with headphones on and it's different frequencies of and tones that are going to each of your ears and what your brain does is it makes up that third tone and this is really healing to the body there's different binaural beats for different things that you may want to be targeting but for stress and anxiety and for depression this is super super helpful so make sure that you're checking that out we will share a link below in the description to one of the ones that I think is very helpful in terms of binaural beats. So I hope that you'll be able to use these tips every day. Those were the top six. Now the next six are coming in the next video. So in part two of daily habits to prevent depression during stressful times. So be sure that you find that video, check it out. If this video you think will help some of your loved ones and friends, please share this video. Also give me a big thumbs up if this video helped you to learn something new. I truly appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell so that you are always notified of my newest and latest uploads. Remember to always take care of your good health and do it naturally. Thank you for joining me today.